Hey guys, I'm Lakshya and let's start with the Rutherford model. <clears throat> Coming back to this model, where Rutherford model. Guys, actually on the basis of scattering of light experiment, when this Rutherford, he proposed a model. Okay, he proposed a model of an atom and he named this as the nuclear atomic model. He named this model as what? Nuclear atomic model. He proposed a model on an atom. So how do the atom looks like? Means like uh, you'll be having, you're having uh, more scientists who made discoveries on this uh, atom right so you are having Georgia Thompson who made few discoveries on this on, on this atom and then he came to the report and you will be having Andrew Lewis so most of the all the scientists who there they came and they made few researches and they made few discoveries on this atom as as well as Rutherford, Ford our son Rutherford, Ford he went he came sorry he came and he made few discoveries on this atom and he proposed one model so he proposed one model so he called this as nuclear atomic model clear he proposed one model and he called this model as nuclear atomic model and this one and in, in, in this model he said that where this atom okay the structure of atom is is some kind of similar to the which some kind of similar to solar system okay he said that where the atom the model of atom or the structure of atom is similar to the solar system where here in the solar system, guys, let me draw the model of an atom as we know. This will be the nucleus, right? So this will be the nucleus and here you are having orbitals, like right? SPDF orbitals, we know. We will be uh, learning this as well. So SPDF orbitals, where is, in as how many electrons we are getting? We will fill in two electrons, right? So you are having one electron over there and two electrons over there, okay? See, these are electrons and let this be nucleus, okay? So guys, here he made this, like he made, um, a structure of an atom and he said what where this atom okay the structure of an atom is exactly some kind of looks like the solar system okay this is the nucleus case okay don't get that okay so this sometimes some kind of looks like a solar system where the electrons acts as the planets which are revolving around the sun means which are revolving around the nucleus as here he named this electrons these are electrons right electrons which are having, which charge, uh, electrons will be having negative charge, right? Protons are having positively charged, but electrons are negatively charged, protons are positively charged. Neutrons are neither positive nor negative, they are neutral. Okay, neutrons are neither positive nor negative, they are neutral. As here, this is nucleus, okay? Nucleus, nucleus. He said that where this is, he called this atom model as a planetary model, okay? He called who? Is or for the for? He called this as who? Our other for he called this atom model as a planetary model. Means it something looks like a planet. Means it something looks like a solar system where he are nucleus, nucleus. He said the nucleus acts as the sun and the electrons which are revolving around the nucleus. Okay, revolving around. In an orbit, he called this as he called this as planets. He called these electrons as planets. As sun, sun revolves around the sorry, earth revolves around the sun. Sorry, okay, earth revolves around the sun, right? So as well as new electrons revolve around the nucleus in an orbit. Okay, he called this and he said that where this atom is in the form of a planet, where this atom is in the form of solar system form means it is it is in the form of solar system. So where he called this as a planetary model, clear? And on the other hand, how did he, how did this Rutherford got to know that yeah, there is an atom, there is an atom where atom something looks like this, something looks like that. How do, how did he know? Because he got to know with an experiment, with an experiment. The experiment is nothing but scattering of alpha particles. Okay, scattering of alpha particles on the fluorescent screen. I will be showing this experiment. Let's go for the experiment now. So he made an experiment, he made more discoveries with his, uh, like with the, with his friends and with the pupils as well. Now coming back to here. Sorry. Okay, now he has taken the source of the alpha particles. Source of the alpha particles. So let this be the, let this be like some kind of a box, okay. So imagine this as a box, okay, and here you are having alpha particles in it. So this is the source of the alpha particles. Means alpha particles means something like ray of light, right? So you just consider alpha particles as rays. 
Okay, light, light rays. Okay, just consider light rays. So alpha particles. So let this be the source of the alpha particles. Source of alpha particles. Means from here you, are, you will be getting alpha particles. Okay, from here you, are, you will be getting alpha particles. Source means the source that where do we get? We do get alpha particles from this box. Now you would take this. What do you take? Okay. You consider this as a fluorescent screen. Now what he did? He took the he has taken this box. Okay, he has taken this box. He took this box. He took the source of alpha particles and he has taken this fluorescent screen. Okay, he has taken what? He has taken this fluorescent screen. Let it be. Okay, he has taken this fluorescent screen and as well he placed a very thin gold foil. He placed a very thin, okay, like a very thin gold foil over here, somewhere over here. Let me write down these names. Here, this will be the fluorescent screen. Fluorescent screen, and this is what gold foil. Where should I write? I will write here gold foil. Okay, let it be. Okay, this is the gold foil case. Yes. Now what happens? Okay, now what happens here? Now here comes the one. As he, what he did is, what our other thoughts are, what he did is, he, uh, he allowed all the beam of alpha particles, okay? He allowed the beam of alpha particles pass through this gold foil. Okay, this is the gold foil. And he, he allowed the beam of alpha particles pass through this gold foil. And what happens here? Beam of alpha particles means bunch of alpha particles means the rays, alpha rays, alpha particles, beam of alpha particles to pass through this gold foil. So what happens most of the rays, most of the alpha particles are undeflected. Okay. Most of the alpha particles are undeflected. Undeflected means here they went like this. Okay, they went. Okay, so most of the alpha particles were undeflected, means they went and they got fallen, means they appeared on this fluorescent screen. Okay, they went and they fallen on this fluorescent screen. Most of the most of the rays which are there, they went and like this and they appeared, means they fallen on this fluorescent screen like this. A very few, a very few, like very few alpha particles deflected. Very few alpha particles deflected. Deflected means after touching the gold foil, they again deflected, means they deflected and they came back. Means here, let this be the alpha, uh, alpha ray, okay? Alpha ray and it got touched and it got deflected back like this, okay? Very few got deflected back like this and you will be having a small deflections, very small deflections. Like here, this is the small deflections that he can see. He observed through this uh, experiment like this, okay? Very small deflections he observed. Somewhat. Some kind of like this, okay? So this is what he made. He observed in this. Um, he observed in this experiment. Like he has taken the source of alpha particles. He has taken the source of alpha particles. He has taken the gold foil and a fluorescent screen. He allowed a beam of alpha particles to pass through this gold foil. Most of the most of the alpha particles were undeflected. Means they went. They went and they appeared on the fluorescent screen. They appeared on the fluorescent screen. Very few, very, very few. Where 1 in 20,000. Okay. 1 in 30 or 40,000 let it be. So 1 in uh, more than 20,000. 1 in 20,000 got deflected. Okay. Very few, very few lines were got deflected. But mostly they went and they got fallen on this. So this is what guys, this is what the experiment uh, done by the but done by our sir who Rutherford. So he made this experiment and Rutherford he discovered he discovered he discovered proton. No, yeah, Rutherford discovered protons. Clear? Let it be. Now here the alpha particles are deflected. Well, uh, very few are deflected. Clear? Now guys, he said that when atom is a spherical means atom is a spherical one and it is electrically neutral and he said that when atom 
is is of most space it is having most empty space atom will be having most and more empty space is available in this atom he said like clear it is spherical shape spherical electrically neutral electrically neutral and where more empty space is available in this atom and the next one is and the next one is where protons and neutrons he called protons and neutrons as nucleons okay he called protons and neutrons as nucleons clear and then so this is what this and again he said that the atom the majority uh, the majority mass of an atom is highly concentrated in a very less area uh, in a very less region okay in a very less region so he he called that region as nucleus so this is what this this is what uh, the our rutherford is or the our rutherford experiment the rutherford experiment is what scattering of alpha particles so this this is what the experiment that he made 